Hello ladies and gents, after playing FIFA 21 with the next gen upgrade, I wanted to turn my attention and focus to Pro Evolution Soccer 2022. Now, the footage you're seeing here is not PES 2022 footage, just wanted to make that clear. This is Visual Lane's Old Trafford VR app that they developed using the Unreal 4 engine. Now, we don't know yet if they're developing PES 2022 on the Unreal 4 engine or whether they're going to develop it on the Unreal 5 engine. Obviously, there's a graphical upgrade from Unreal 4 to Unreal 5, but if you just look at what is possible here, and remember that this is the Unreal 4 engine footage you're seeing, I don't think it's going to honestly matter that much whether it's developed on the Unreal 4 or Unreal 5 engine because it's a massive upgrade from what we're seeing in PES 2021 and I think this just looks absolutely phenomenal especially when you see the sort of players coming out onto the pitch we see the crowd the atmosphere it just all comes to life and really does make it feel like you're actually in the stadium which is which is crazy I mean the amount of detail the volumetric lighting just everything comes together and just makes for a spectacular experience and I think this you know, move to the Unreal Engine is going to help PES leaps and bounds. This could leave FIFA in the dirt, especially if EA don't move away from the Frostbite engine. I really do see them in a lot of trouble. They just don't seem to be able to get anything more out of that engine. I keep repeating myself, but I think that's true. The only thing and reservation I do have with PES 2022 is that I think we need to taper our expectations. Yes, it may look amazing, but getting the gameplay right may take a year, maybe even two years to get it absolutely spot on. Nonetheless, I'm really excited for what the Unreal 4 or Unreal 5 engine has to offer. And I just can't wait for the next gen experience. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I just want to thank Visual Lane for letting me use this footage. Greatly appreciated. And yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in my future videos. Thanks again. Bye-bye.